Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to go over another application of differentiation. So we are going to essentially approximate function values. Uh, in particular, we're going to try to find a value of the cubic root of 26 without using a calculator. And hopefully once you have the approximated value, we're going to try to compare that to the actual uh, calculator value to see how, how close we are to the calculator value. All right, to achieve this goal, we're going to use the approximation for f of x plus delta x. The, the value of f at x plus delta x can be written in terms of f of x and the differential of y. Uh, in fact, it's equal to f of x plus the differential of y. But since we determine the differential of y to be f prime of x dx, f of x plus f prime of x dx. All right, I, I copied down this approximation here, but the bad news is that there's no f prescribed in the question. So, so now how am I going to determine f x delta x so that I can talk about this type of approximation? Well, to start with, the, since we're talking about uh, approximating function values, so it seems like we have the function f of x which is the cubic root of x, and we're trying to find f of 26. Or we're trying to approximate f of 26, which is, in fact, the cubic root of 26. Well, if this number was 27, we know how to take the cubic root of that without using a calculator, because 27 is cubic power of 3, and that would spit out the value 3. So. The value that we're after should be a little less than 3 because, again, cubic root of 27 is 3. So, so then why don't I choose the x here in this formula to be 27 and delta x to be negative 1 so that f of x plus delta x is going to be f of 26. And that's going to be approximated by f of 27, which is something, again, I can, I can calculate without a calculator because f of 27 is the cubic root of uh, uh, 27, that's in fact 3. Plus, we're going to have f prime evaluated at 27, and dx is the same as delta x for this problem, so it's going to be negative 1. We're going to multiply this by negative 1. All right. So for, for this purpose, we need f prime of x. Why don't we find f prime of x? But first, let's write it in the power form. So x to the power of 1 third, so that f prime of x, after the application of the power rule, is 1 third x to the power of negative 2 thirds. But I can use the reciprocal here. So it's 1 over 3. This is x to the power of 2 thirds, but that's the cubic root of x squared. All right, we're almost done, because all we're going to do here is to see what those numbers spit out. Well, f of 27 is, as I said, cubic root of 27, which is 3. And f prime of uh, 27 is 1 over uh, 3 times cubic root of 27 squared times negative 1. So instead of putting negative 1 there, I'm going to put minus here. Okay. Well, as you know that 27 is 3 cubed. So 27, in other words, squared is equal to 3 cubed squared. Right? 3 cubed squared. All right, that's 3 to the 6th. All right, therefore, this quantity is going to be 3 to the 6th cubic root. That's 3 squared. So this is 3 minus 1 over 27. And in short, you can combine these two terms into 1, and you can write it as 80, 80 divided by 27. 80 divided by 27 is approximately equal to 2.96. Let me just write it here. 2.96296. All right, this is what we obtain uh, 
uh, without using a calculator. If we did use a calculator, so this is the calculator value, let me just tell you what it is, 2.96. 2.96, I'm gonna put as many digits as I can to, for you to see the difference, 249, 2496. As you see that, the calculator value is not uh, too far uh, from the approximate value we obtain that by uh, using the differential idea through this equation here. So in other words, this is not a bad approximation of a cubic root of 26. All right, this is the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.